Another perfect day in LA, 80 degrees and sunny. Traffic reports indicate that there's a fender bender on the southbound lanes of the 101, the 405 stop and go. The I-5's moving at a good clip and the 170 is green from the 101 to Roscoe Boulevard. That's the weather and traffic report, folks. This hour, we're talking about the government bailout tab and what everyone's asking is, where's the money? What happened to the plan that was supposed to help the financial institutions, help the homeowners? Seriously, $700 billion, folks? Plus the government made commitments of another 12.5 trillion, that's right, trillion with a T, and spent 2.5 trillion already. With all this money floating around in the financial circles, why are taxpayers forced out of their homes? Why are families forced to miss three payments before the bank will discuss refinancing. Are you mad yet? You should be furious. How many middle class mortgages would seven hundred million dollars? What are you doing, guys? Hey, come on. Hey, stop playing. Hey, please. Will you play outside, please? I'm trying to run a respectable this day. Come on, guys, guys, hey, hey. Hey, hey, you. Have some fun. I'm sorry about the word. You know what? This I'm not. Come again, please. Thank you. this work roll camera you just be yourself and we will handle the rest jack would say i should have consulted a lawyer before signing this yeah well with all due respect uh, mr malone did bail on you i'm pretty sure you could use the money right <clears throat> you know that's not my place hey i'm chloe and this is my friend allison she came to help back. Don't lie, dork. She came to be on camera. And this is my boyfriend, Tommy. 
I asked him to come help with the boxes since my dad didn't have the balls to stick around for the move. So? I'm just saying. I don't care. She doesn't think I'm acting appropriately given that my dad left us. We're getting kicked out of our 5,000 square foot home with a three car garage, which by the way is one car short because we couldn't afford the lease in my Mercedes. Given all of that, my dad didn't have the balls to stick around and help us figure out anything. How am I supposed to act? What is the socially acceptable way for a 17 year old girl to act in this situation? Hmm? Anyone? Chloe, Chloe, what is the problem here? Just telling the world what a coward dad is. Don't be disrespectful. He is still your father. How can you be such a hypocrite, Mom? You were just saying how it's his fault that we're losing the house, that he kept all these financial secrets from us. That's just his way of dealing with things. Now, he'll be back soon. That's b He should be here now. Watch your mouth. All he cared about was how he was feeling. Not once did he think about what it would do to us. You're wrong about your father. I swear. Chloe, I'm beginning to wonder what kind of person did I even raise here? Really? I'm the bad one? <sighs> This has been really hard on all of us. When is Jack coming back? Oh, he just needed a few days to himself. Did he leave because he knew we were coming? Jack's a very private person. Oh, the day your family moves out of their home, I mean, it's a pretty important day to be here, don't you think? What are you going to do now? Move to the new place. Look for a job. I haven't worked in 17 years. Well, I mean, worked in an office setting in 17 years. Of course, I've had a full-time job around this house. You haven't been employed since before Chloe was born. I used to work at a law firm. I was a paralegal. It was so long ago. It seems like completely different life. I uh, noticed you, uh, you know, wearing your wedding ring. We used it as collateral. You uh, pawned it? We've got 30 days to get it back. Got there. Might I take a look? So I hear that you are 14. That's a tough age. Hey, I get it. The strong silent type, huh? Not like Chloe. Such a girl. <laughs> Are you, uh, you like to read the Bible? Hey, there's nothing wrong with reading the Bible. I mean, heck, it's better than a lot of those graphic novels out there these days, huh? You know, all the blood and guts and knives and guns, all that stuff. What about Revelations or the Book of Job? How about it? Job loses his wealth, his kids get slaughtered, his body turns to decay. Satan's all over him, day and night, torturing him. Yeah, but uh, Job stayed faithful, and eventually he was given everything back. Isn't that how the story goes? We were talking about violence. You said that a graphic novel is more violent than the Bible. What's more violent than crucifying a person? All of that for a higher purpose. Huh? All those stories are true. We should worry about the monsters that live among us, not some imaginary graphic novel characters, right? Oops. 
some people would say that there's some valuable lessons to be learned from the Bible in you know, important events. Sure, like revenge. Mm. Vengeance is mine. Do that, right? Something like that. Sometimes a person has to take matters into their own hands. Why do I have a feeling you're not talking hypothetically anymore? Look, I know this can't be easy, especially for you. I'd rather talk about something else. Well, what do you want to talk about? Do you guys, by any chance, have those spy cameras? Oh, little button cameras? I've seen them on investigative reports. You can hide them anywhere, right? Pretty much. Never seen one in person. Uh, we have a couple of them. I'll show them to you later. Cool. So, how long will you film us? Uh, just until you get settled in your new place, I think. You're a smart kid. All right? All right, cool. It's pretty here. Are you okay? I didn't mean to upset you. You didn't. I'll come visit. I don't want you to see where I'm going. I don't want anyone to see where I'm gonna live. Why? Because this is where my God-fearing mother takes us to volunteer to feed the homeless. So what? So, I bet it's gonna be so precious. <laughs> She's made us volunteer and go to church every Sunday morning. And for what? A lot of good it's done for our family. Chloe. Don't hate me when I say this, but look at this view. I mean, I don't know. Maybe going to church and doing charity work is good karma or something. Yeah, if you consider losing everything good karma. You can't look at it like that. Then please, Allison, tell me how am I supposed to look at it? I don't know. All I'm saying is that even though you lost this house, you're still doing better than most. If you say that at least I have my health, I am going to scream. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, at least you still have your friends. The minute we reached out to our friends, they all abandoned us like we had some financial contagious disease or something. It was humiliating. Should have been humiliating for them, not you. What about the... Did you check yet? Allison! What? It's not like I'm gonna say it. Did you? I don't know if I want to know right now. Okay. Fine. Backing off. Let's go pack. We need to finish up. Yeah. You got a mean layout. I'm working on it. That's pretty cool. Any other interests? He's a Jesus freak. Don't say that. Who you are, aren't you? Chloe, come on. He reads the Bible and watches reality cop shows all day. Creepy, right? Not anymore. Is that true? You like those police shows? I don't know. You gonna be a cop? Well, I'm not sure I want to get sued for doing my job. You have very mature opinions on the important issues. All I'm saying is, they don't get the respect, the credit they deserve. I mean, don't you think cops should be the stars of our society? I never really thought about it. Is that what you think? I mean, look, if your life depended on it, who would you call? The police or some superstar? Well, you have a point. <laughs> but hey, cops don't generate $100 million at the box office. You make it sound like life's just about money. Money helps. Hey, look, some cops commit crimes for money. And all multi gazillionaire superstars are squeaky clean. I told you, the making of a freak. Okay, uh, let's see. No, that's not 
Oh, maybe over here, this kid, maybe get the kid over here. Playing ball. All this is good. This is good stuff. Hey guys, there's, a, there's more kids over here. Come on. Hey guys, how are you doing? A documentary? This neighborhood? Are you filming for people? <laughs> That's one way to put it. We're following a family down on their luck. Well, we came to the right place. Nobody around here has any money. It's also about people losing their homes, their jobs, their health insurance. Sounds like a feel-good movie. My dad doesn't have a job anymore. Shut up, Shorty. Nobody asked you. They got kicked out of their apartment. Who did? Me and my dad. Man, y'all speak for yourselves. Check this out. I'm making bank. <laughs> you got a change for a 20 in one. Baller wannabe. Shut up, boo. You're gonna be balled up in a minute if you don't get on my grill. You guys are so random talking all gangsta to the camera. You ain't fooling nobody. What do you know, little girl? Crap, Ray's coming. I forgot to peel the potatoes. My and mom always get to eat the potatoes. Don't start, Stace. We only have three left. What are we gonna eat? There's plenty of stuff for PB and J's. What is this, huh? What's going on here? They're shooting a movie. Oh yeah? Are they paying you to be in it? Rich people for nothing. We'll be home soon. We wanna wait outside for her. No, I'm gonna go get some sleep. Is there anything in here to eat? I'll peel the potatoes. It won't take long. Stacy, I'll take her. Potatoes. She said she'll do it. It's okay. I'll come with you. She said she'll do it. Now you wait out here for your mother. Come on, Stacy. Jail today. All right, show me your hands. What's up, Red? He attacked me. I want to press charges. You Get sucker punched him. Get over here. No, hey, hands up. You got anything in here that's gonna poke me? You know me, Red. Oh, that's why I asked. Turn around. So why'd you hit him? I was defending myself. Against somebody walking away from you? Sit down, JJ. Why is it always me? Why am I always the troublemaker? It's because you always are. I see what this is. You're ganging up on me. Do you oh. an ambulance? No, fine. Okay, well, what's your side of it? I saw him picking on the kid. I went over to break it up. We got into a wrestling match. You spread those lies he attacked me. Hey, hey, hey. You mind if I get my camera? What are you doing here, sweetheart? Wait for my producer. So you got a name? Yeah, you got some ID? You got any permits to be shooting on the street, Pam? Well, we're shooting over there. It's private property. Yeah, right now you're on my property, and you're going to need a permit for that. <laughs> Seriously? Because that's not true. What's that? Well, if we're not impeding traffic, we can shoot all we want. You want to test that theory? Because we can all go down the station and figure this out. Damn, girl. Uh, it's fine. You get off the sidewalk. All right, hold on. You want to press charges? No. What about you, JJ? Kiss and makeup? Spare me some paperwork? OK. But you owe me one ride in here. If I have to come back here today, we're all going to go for a ride. You got that? JJ, picking on a little kid, that's a new love for you. Forget you, Mac. You know it all. All right, you want to come with me, sweetie? Wait, my dad's going to meet me here later. He'll know where to find you. Come on. 
I'm watching you, JJ. Whatever. Get off the car. Get out of here. Hey. What are you looking at? William 33, code 8. Remember our agreement, Shorty? Yes, ma'am. What was it? You drive me to the library after school. What happened? I read it for you, but you didn't show up. Okay, sometimes I'm gonna get a call and I can't be there right on the dot, but you gotta wait for me and stay away from the bad guys. Give it up, Connie. You're not gonna save the world. What if I can save this kid? Let social services do their thing. Your cows are the bone red. Come on, buddy. William 33. William 33, backup units, silent alarm at 16 6 Sherman Way. Okay, let me just. I'm not ready to just give me a right second, now. please. I no. just want to adjust the focus for one second, okay? I know, I know, but. Honey, come on now. You told me that you were going to do this, and we got it. What? I'm not staying in this hellhole. Chloe, watch your language. So, did you find out? No. Yeah, do you think? Melvin? Really? Look, man, you should just talk to Alfred. I mean, he's the one that told me, so. Okay, thanks. Christopher! We could really use your help here. Stay around. All right, let's stay up. All right, Chris. Yeah. Hey, yo, let's shoot some hoops later, man. You know what? I'll catch up to you later, man. I promise. No hoops, buddy. I'm sorry. We got work to do inside the house. Beautiful. Watch where you're going, jerk. Did you call me? You heard me, jerk. Someone wants to wash your mouth out, so. Grab the luggage, Christopher. Hey, Ma. I'm tired of hanging out with these kids, Ma. You come see me. You talk big for a little guy. Oh, it's on now, BFF. I'm gonna teach you and your moms a lesson you won't forget. What time should I come by? You gonna make me work for it? <laughs> Share. Seriously? Hey, yeah, we already had this pervert threaten us from the neighborhood. Oh, and I only, yeah, there's only two bedrooms, so I don't even get my room anymore. Who are you talking to? Did you ask your mom yet if I can move in? We still have graduation. Chloe, who are you talking to? Tom! Give me that. Hi, Tommy. No. No, Chloe is not moving in with you. Yes, I am. Tell your parents 
We appreciate the gesture, but Chloe is staying right here with her family. Ma'am? Yes, thank you. Ma'am, where do you want oh, these? Oh, um, just here in the living room anywhere in the middle. Is it? Do you have the key to the storage facility? Yeah, we'll lock it up and we'll leave it at the front desk for you. Okay, great. Thank you. When is the estate soon? Uh, next week. I am so embarrassed. I'm going to shoot some hoops. Honey, it's going to be dark soon. I know this neighborhood. Christopher, I don't want to hear it. But I have Christopher! Said... Fine, whatever. Our family's got problems of their own. Jack and I came from very humble beginnings, so they're really not in a position to help us out. But let me tell you, this house is a blessing. Thank God for Oscar and Anna Claret. Blessing, Mom. Give it up. It's a curse, not a blessing. Oh, this house isn't that bad. You know, we left it the exact same way it was before they passed away. They never even got a chance to finish painting. Bless their souls. Um... Is that really necessary? Oh, hey, you know, candid footage is the best part of the program, usually. Just look at it this way, with all the cameras around here, you have the safest house in the neighborhood. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know about the safest. Uh, hey, you play? Oh, yeah, right, I play. No, it's Christopher's. I could come in handy. Speaking of which, uh, that kid on the bike, it's pretty intimidating, huh? Yeah, he was. I can never really hurt someone. Well, even if your life depended on it? The Bible says to turn the other cheek. It also says an eye for an eye. Look, it's my job to find the truth. Okay, sometimes I have to ask the tough questions. Mom, where's the new food? Um, there's some food up there in the cupboards. Canned food, seriously? There's other stuff in there. Mom! Chloe! Is it really that bad? Look, we can afford dinner. But I want you to know the money that we do have, we're gonna have to learn to make it stretch. You know what? Uh, production has the meals. Okay? You guys okay with pizza? It's fine. Hey, Chris! Is pizza alright for you? I don't care. Alright then. Pizza it is. That was after the feds bailed them out using our tax dollars. <laughs> when Jack got laid off, he tried to get a loan modification. But the bank said that we had to be three months behind in our mortgage payments, so we tried that. It didn't work. We got so far behind in our mortgage payments, the bank said we were too high of a risk to even rent our very own house. What about the uh, investments Jack made in the riverboat casino? Well, I'm not proud of that. Never brought in much profit anyway. To be honest, Jack got in with the wrong people. Home sharks? Something about needing additional funds. He said he needed to get cash fast. I'm not sure. It was a bad deal anyway. God's way of saying, stay away from sinful things, right? Sounds more like stay away from shady people. <laughs> yeah, that too. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the whole idea that you uh, that you didn't know about your family's downfall of their financial situation. Well, Jack paid the bills. He took care of the accounts. Well, you never checked the financial statements? I never really had a need to. Where's Jack? I told you he uh, just needed to be by himself for a couple of days. You know, I understand that. What I'm saying is he still around? I mean, is he in the city? Did he uh, skip town? Does he owe money to people? Is he hiding? I mean, you, you must know some of this, right? Hey, is that the HD version? Oh, it is. That's it's right. Great. I forgot. I told you I was going to show you this thing. It's just, I've never seen one in person. Yeah, yeah it works just like this. Just pop it down in there. Was right in here. Is it even on? Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, if I can get it in here. Mm -hmm. Just like that, and you are good to go. Awesome, thanks. 
What are you texting? Get away from me. God. We'll get a wardrobe rack. Chloe, if I hear you say those words one more time, you are grounded for a week. I don't understand why I can't get my own room. Chris can sleep on the couch. It's his fault anyway. <sighs> Ever since he moved in, my wife went to come. Chloe! What? I was gonna say crap. Crap isn't a swear word. Can we explore that? Can we talk about Chris's situation? Another one of Dad's brilliant ideas! Chloe, lower your voice. He's in the other room. He can hear you. I like the kid, but I can't help but feel like he brought his family curse on us. There's no family curse. My dad adopted him out after what happened at the store. Oh, not too far from here, actually. Doesn't it give you that warm, fuzzy feeling about the neighborhood? Great. Well, I said I like him. Go apologize to him. He heard you. Hey, man, I don't think they're gonna make it in this neighborhood, man. I'll get used to it. Is JJ still around? He won't do nothing to you. I want to talk to Alfred, man. Yeah, you'll probably be at the soup line tomorrow. I heard you own your parents' house now. When I turn 18, Ms. Malone has to take care of it until then. You're gonna be rich, dog. It's run down, man. Uh -huh. Where's Stacy? She's making dinner for Ray. Yo, man, why are they making a movie about the family you're staying with? Yeah. They lost their house. Nothing special about that. People lose their houses all the time. Yeah. I guess. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Pero. Hey, Pero. Watch your punk ass back. Hey, yo, JJ, leave him alone, man. Father kicked me out of the store all the time. That's because you came in to steal all the time. He's smart enough to me. I'll whoop your ass all over the street. Leave him alone, JJ. Christopher! Are you all right? Christopher, are you OK? Are you OK? Why would you care? Look, what I, what I said earlier, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. You know what? Forget about it. Me. Hey, tough neighborhood, huh? Uh, didn't hurt. Look, Chris, I, uh, be a big part of my story. It's actually a, it's a large part of the reason I chose the Malones to do this documentary on. Human interest story. Hmm. Would you talk to me about uh, what happened to them? I'd rather not talk about it right now. You're a good kid, Chris. I'm sure what happened to them must have devastated you. I mean, it might, might help you to talk about it. Um, okay, we're gonna wrap for the day, all right?
Jack, it's me. I thought you might be interested to know we are at the Claret House, which won't be an easy adjustment. Um, the film producer, his uh, crew came by and they followed us around and filmed us getting humiliated by the neighborhood bully. Nothing better than getting humiliated on camera. <laughs> but like you said, money is money, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I gave the keys back to that slime ball at the back. It really would have been considerate if you would have been here to help us move. I don't know what's going on. Why are you shutting us out? You know, it's one thing if you don't care about me, but your daughter is going through a very hard time and you are just, you're being a jerk. You're a spineless coward. Yeah, my allergies. Um, I'm gonna sleep on the couch today. Why? There's plenty of room in the bedroom. Okay, I'm just right in there if you need me. Everyone's going to sleep. I can't really talk right now. Yeah, uh, he knows. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Um, we'll do what we can, I guess. Uh, 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 the walls here are paper thin, so I I can't really talk right now. Okay. Bye. There's no one there now. They were these guns. Chris, bring us out! What are you doing? What the? What are you guys doing? It's not funny, Mark. 
Get out! Go home! Don't worry about it. It's just my friends you met earlier. Jerks! Uh, it's a false alarm. No, it was just kids playing a joke. I'm so sorry. Thank you. all of us to serve in Pastor Lane's soup kitchen today. We just got kicked out of our house. Do we seriously have to go? I was hoping to spend time with my friends today. You can bring them along. Now look, you don't have to stay the whole time, all right? No, I'll, I'll... It'll be good for you. Of course, let him leave, Harley. Oh. Please, listen to what I'm about to say. I really thought I raised a decent person instead of a selfish You just called me a How is that not a swear word? God will forgive me for speaking the truth. Oh my God, I hate you guys! Listen, Christopher needs us. His parents trusted our entire family to take care of him, and that includes you. Now stop thinking about yourself, and for once, do something nice for someone else. Ever since that little boy moved in with us, we've had nothing but bad luck. That's nonsense. Our financial problems started long before that 14-year-old boy moved in with us. It is not his fault. Then whose fault is it, Mom? Does it matter? Look, what matters is our future. Plant a seed. Shut up! Ah! Hey, want to shoot some hoops? I can't. Where's your mom? Out with her friends. She's just out looking for work, you know? Needs to unwind. She's not working for the jerk clean guy anymore? Is Peggy home? Are you all right? Do you want to talk about it? I thought about you while I was gone. You did? Why? I don't know. I, I missed the neighborhood. Oh. You missed the neighborhood? And everyone, you know? Mark, Luke, Peggy. Oh. Now you're back for good? I think so, for a while, I guess. Chloe doesn't like it here, so... Not sure Miss Malone will do. Rent free house helps. I guess. I was thinking maybe we can go down to a movie theater one day, see a movie. That'd be awesome. Really? Stacy! I told you to clean the bathroom. Do you understand? Stace, I can give you a hand. Get out of here. Keep your hands off. Yeah, or what? Let's see. Stay away from my girls. They're not yours. You all right? She needs help. We can go in there and bust her out. Yeah, I wish it was that simple. Yeah, let's set up some exterior cameras out here, all right? Now right on this guy. never really trusted banks. Kept a lot of cash in the safe. Who all knew about that safe? 
My mom, I guess. You never told anyone? My dad's business was his business. I never talked to anybody about it. I used to play basketball with him all the time. Why do you think your parents chose the Malones for you to live with? They were good friends, I guess. Did you spend a lot of time with the Malones before you? Huh? All this happened? Only at church, volunteering to feed the homeless. You didn't have relatives you could go live with? In Andorra, my relatives live overseas. There's a country you don't hear a lot about. Well, you didn't want to go live in Europe? Would you? I don't know, maybe. I had relatives that lived there, maybe. So do you like living with the Malones? Always well, says I brought my family curse on them. You don't believe that, do you? She's just angry about the situation, you know? Not you. She hates that we had to move in my parents' old place. Says it's beneath her. Well, hey, you know, they helped you out when you needed it, and now you're just returning the favor. I think that's something to be pretty proud of, actually. I guess. Do you mind if I shoot a few hoops without answering any questions? Of course not. Why'd you guys have to mess the front door last night? He likes that fine you drove Don't call her that. Shut the hell up, fool. My bad. I didn't know you ladies were so sensitive. So, did you guys talk to Alfred? Nah, man. But you know that fool's always at the soup line and they start serving at noon, so. How did we know Alfred's telling the truth? You talking about Melvin? Because the cops took him in for questioning. They let him go the same day. Kobe intercepts, takes it to the basket. I need to talk to him. The cops couldn't prove it, so don't mess with it. I see why he could have done it. He had motive. <laughs> Melvin's killed other people, too. I heard he's a hitman. Hey, plus, Alfred said he saw that fool walking away with a big-ass bag full of money, man. No joke. What you gonna do when you get to Melvin? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Look, just being real with you, Doc. Nobody's gonna blame you if you put a slug in that fool. True that. Where am I gonna get a gun? JJ's got one. I've seen it. I need to know for sure if Melvin did this. Alfred swears it's true. How does Alfred even know all this stuff? He says that Melvin's roommate told him, man. Let's go. Let's go. Hunger and thirst are natural desires that God has given to us. But mankind has ignored our hunger buried deep inside. So reach down into your soul and, and pull out, pull out that hunger and thirst for the Holy Spirit. Seek it, and you shall find. Ask of it, and you shall receive. Repent, and you shall be forgiven. Heavenly Father, bless this food we're about to receive, and bless the people before us. Look over our troops, wherever they are today, and give wisdom and compassion to our politicians. Blessed be the peacemakers. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi there, how are you today? Well, you all right? Good to see you, Joe. Your eyes look better. Chloe, what's the problem now? There you go. No, really, I want to hear her. Give me, give me, she's been making us come here for years and just lost it about giving back, and I, I get it, but now we live here. We don't get to go back home. We're stuck in this hellhole with these people. That's rude, Chloe. Oh, Look, there. we've been in this neighborhood two days. It's gonna be fine. Sometimes things happen for a reason. Great. Yeah, you got that. 
bless you. You should go say hello to her. That's all right. I'm good. She looks like she could use a friend. What can I possibly talk to her about? I'm Chloe. Mary. Nice to meet you. Do you want some more? Okay. <clears throat> I'm very pretty. So are you. Do you live around here? Yeah, actually, yeah. We just moved into this crappy place up the street. I don't even have my own bedroom. Can you believe that? What about you? Uh, general area. Oh, right. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to complain. You're going through a rough patch. I like your scarf. For my dad. Must be a great guy. He left us, me and my mom. I'm sorry. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here on the streets? Um, <clears throat> I, I hung out with the wrong people and I didn't get along with my parents. I understand that. Are you, are you having problems? She means well, but she's so caught up in her beliefs that I can't really talk to her, you know? Mm -hmm. At least I have a good friend. I learned the hard way that friends are only there when it's convenient for them. My parents tried to warn me, but I didn't listen. You try going back? I'm sure they'd understand. Why don't you try opening up to your mom? It's a little too complicated. I'm pregnant. <laughs> wow. That feels surreal to say. Who's a father? Tommy. Mm. Does he know? Might be a good time to tell your mom. It's never a good time to tell my mom. <laughs> well, she won't kill you in church, will she? What's your next plan? Not uh, silly. No, try me. I like to get my GED. Then you will. I'm homeless. I'll help you. I, I live a few blocks up the road. We can study together. <laughs> Thank you. For what? For being here today. Hey, Alfred. How's yeah. it going, kid? Uh, look, do you know anything about Melvin? Oh, we told them. Look, kid, I, I like your parents, but I don't want any trouble. I can call the cops and have them ask the questions for me. <laughs> cops asking questions don't bother me. Look, all I heard is that Melvin could have had something to do with the robbery. From who? Melvin's old roommate says Melvin talked about killing your dad for firing him, take his money, and burn down the store. Did you tell the cops that? Sure did. 
And they talked to Melvin about it. And then Melvin talked to me. Roughed me up pretty good. Where's Melvin now? Don't care to know. Detective. How's it going? Oh, Shorty doing all right? Shorty. He's doing fine. Hey, Shorty. Mm. I'm Christopher Claret. My parents were robbed. Convenience store robbery. Yeah. Um, Alfred over there says this guy who used to work for my father did it. Melvin. Yeah, well, we questioned him. There wasn't enough evidence. William 33, dispatch. William 33. William 33, clear for transmission. I gotta go. Hey, listen, kid, I'll look into it. Here's my card, okay? William 33, clear for transmission. William 33, wait, stand by for wait, information. Wait, wait, detective. There's got to be something more you can do. Well, the department has a $25,000 reward out. We're following leads. 48 hours without progress, the case gets cold. Isn't that right? William 33, clear for transmission. William 33, unresponsive male in parking lot corner of Victory and Color Avenue, possible gunshot victim. Right? Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. What is it? There's no easy way to say this. I'm pregnant. I know it's not easy to hear. I... Pregnant. Holy, how could you? Mom, please, no lectures. I know what I did is wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have Tommy knows, and we're gonna raise the baby together. Good night, after graduation. I can't talk to you right now. Dispatch William 33, code 6, have visual on the victim. Copy that, William 33, code 6, visual on victim, dispatching ambulance. Gun. Dispatch William 33, cancel ambulance and coroner. Dispatch copy. Trigger. Barrels pointing at the chest. 
the round came out the back. It looks like this sorry bastard shot himself. He videotaped it? High tech suicide note. Got ID? I know this guy. Dispatch William 33. Need a next of kin on a Jack Malone. ID Charlie 1970482. Jack Malone. Store robbery. He was the uh, owner's business partner. You no, know, we didn't like him for it. You no know, motive, no opportunity. Well, you're going to want to watch this. Stand by for information. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, yeah. Did you see it? Oh, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Man, can you, can you check my damn thing? Oh, God, here we go. What do you need? Uh, hey, man, let's go. Come on. Chris, you coming, man? Come on. You got a death wish? Where's that fine looking bitch you came with? She's not a bitch. Oh. You got some balls? Stay down. Stay down. I need to ask you something. Are you crazy? I need, I know a way for you to make 25 grand. Really? Yes. Really? You know Melvin, who used to work for my father? What about it? He killed my parents, and I need your help to prove it. I need you to scare him. Get him to tell you what he did. Please. How do you know that? I heard rumors. So I get it out of Melvin, then what? You get him to give you the backpack and the money he stole, and we take it to police. Then you get your money. Bro, you're tripping. JJ, come on. You can beat me up. You can do everything you want to me. Just help me find my parents' killer. Please. What do you say? Please. JJ. JJ, come on. 25 grand, JJ. I said, don't think about it. You all right? Yeah, you know, be fine. Yeah, sure. Sure. Hey, you okay? Hey, get out of there! Get out of here! Peggy! What are you doing? Get in the house! Do like I tell you! Go on, right now! All right, listen, punks. I've told you once to get out of here. Get off of this land, get out of this neighborhood, or somebody's gonna get hurt, and they're gonna get hurt bad. You understand? Now get out of here! Are you guys in? Good. Social services over here. I didn't do nothing. We got it. We got it. 
She's lying. I don't care. She's, She's lying. lying. Get in the car. Mrs. Malone? Yes, what? This is not the ideal time to tell you this, but we found your husband. What do you mean, found him? Apparently, your husband shot and killed himself. I am so sorry. Oh, no! We recovered a video no. on a cell phone. What do you mean, you got a video? What video? Okay. No. What are you talking about? What video? You oh, my God. Best hiring someone to rob the convenience store. My parents' store. The Colorettes were friends of ours. I don't believe it. Christopher, I didn't know anything about this. You have to believe me. Who did he hire? All I can say right now is that JJ is a person of interest. What do you mean he's a person of interest? We don't know for sure right now. <laughs> JJ was just here. I asked him to help me find Melvin. We're going to be looking for him. Ma'am, when was the last time you saw your husband? A couple of days ago. Okay. Was he depressed? Did he seem unusual in any sort of way? <laughs> we just lost our home of 15 years. He was he was under so much stress. He was he was under a lot of stress. He couldn't handle a little God. <laughs> Where is he? I have to see Jack. Where is he? Coroner's <laughs> office to conduct an investigation to rule out homicide. <laughs> it was a shocking turn of events today, huh? feel very betrayed. Nope. My father would have land checked him if he would have asked for it. Yeah, I guess asking for money for Jack meant failure. And murder's better? What's got there? Maybe you use the cops to turn out. Seen this? Message for our son, love mom and dad. Well, this looks like it was done a couple years ago. Might make you feel better. Come on now. You told me that you were gonna do this and we gotta do it, okay? I'm We've been robbed enough. too many times and you never know what's gonna happen. You promise me. Yes. Okay? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Like we rehearsed. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Christopher, if if you're watching this video, my son, then, then that means that something terrible has, has happened to me and your mother. Uh, we want you to know that we have left a will with the lawyer, Mr. Stein, uh, you know him, and we've trusted the Malones to take care of you until you're old enough to take care of yourself. Oh, yes, and uh, the Malones are going to take care of the house until you're 18. That's right. Yeah. Oh, uh, the, the pilot light, uh, they had water heater, it goes out a lot, so please don't touch it yourself. I want you to call a plumber. Okay? Uh, Gotta get that Oscar, thing fixed. Oscar, focus. Okay. Someday, you will uh, grow up and you will have kids of your own. And we want them to understand how much we love you. Hmm? Yeah. I, I don't know where to begin. But I tell you this, I know where it all began. <laughs> Start with the poetry, huh? huh? You know, the truth is, your father chased me all over Andorra and into Spain, uh, even uh, when I went off to go to college, you know? That's right, you wanted nothing to do with me. No. But I, I knew that one day she would be my wife. And I knew I needed to get a restraining order. What can I say? She was warm. What? What? Hot. 
No, oh, you, yes, I, you, I, that's, you mean I'm a That's heart. what I meant, you still are. Yes, you are, honey. Listen, anyway, anyway, no court order could keep me away from her. I had faith, I knew, I knew that God had allowed us to meet for a reason. Yes, and that reason is you. Please, you have to be strong and carry on the family name with pride. And be humble. Grow up to be a good man and always follow your heart. And always follow God. If you, you can never go wrong if you follow God's teachings. In, you know, your, your faith may waver from time to time. But, uh... And your faith will waver. You may not always find the answers to your questions. But listen to us. Hold on to your faith. Yes, and I'm so sorry, my baby boy. I am, I'm uh, so sorry that we left you alone in this cruel world. We're so sorry that we could not be there for your birthdays and your graduation and your wedding. And sometimes things happen in life that we don't know the reason. No, but I, this, this is your time. Live life and make it count, yes? Make it count. We love you, Chris.
down, Chris. can end it with the clip of Sarah, Chloe, and Chris attending church. Uh, uh, I never intended for this piece to become so preachy. Mm. I don't know, one more faith-based scene. I don't know, might be too much. Uh, uh, tagline. Um, Jack's greed and lack of moral compass set in motion a chain of events that devastated the lives of so many people. Uh, he, he fell victim to the greed and lack of moral compass of an entire financial industry. Jack was hardly a victim. Well, what about focusing the ending on the abused girls, Peggy and Stacy? It's not the point. Besides, they're in foster care now, so that's yeah. really that's better. Um, well, we'll do a split screen. You know, on the left, we'll show the character, and on the right, we'll just put a little blurb about what happened to them. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, on the left, we show Sarah and say that, you know, that she got a job as a paralegal working for a firm that uh, deals with homeowners' rights. You know, and then mm -hmm. on the right, we can show him over the black, you know, ironically, uh, you know, after the government lost track of the first 700 billion uh, tax dollars, uh, they then committed another 2.7 trillion uh, dollars in bailout funds. Oh, that's obscene. Yeah. And the nearly uh, 13 trillion dollars could have paid for all of the middle class mortgages in America. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, JJ survived the gunshot wound. His case is still pending trial. Right, uh, Christopher uh, still lives in his parents' house with Sarah and Chloe. Uh, Chloe and Tommy broke up over the summer and put the baby up for adoption. Mm. Yeah, wow. Bringing a baby into this world. Miracle of life. That's mind boggling, isn't it? Miracle. Now don't tell me this project got the best of you. Made you a believer. <sighs> yeah, well, we see the devil every day in the things that we do to each other. So, there must be a God. Can't have one without the other, huh? <laughs>